20 diameter A36 steel from the back of the book. It's E200 GPA. I prefer MPA, but we'll see how our units will uh, cancel out. All right, so the E of that material is um, 200 GPA. It's subjected to the axial forces determine the displacement of NC with respect to A. So what's the delta L between A and C? Well, I'm gonna break this up and I'm gonna find the delta L of that section, the delta L of that section, right? I'm gonna sum up these delta Ls, the summation of, or just say delta L of section AB, delta L of section BC, All right? So what is the PL over EA of that section, the PL over EA of that section? These are two different Ps, you know, two different lengths. I think the areas are probably the same, the E's are still the same. All right, so what is the force inside section AB? What is the force inside section BC? I don't know if you are comfortable now to just look at it and see it. Let's, let's assume not cut it open and solve for the force inside. So inside section BC, I cut it open, I've got 40 kilonewtons right here. So summing the forces in X equals zero, I would get 40, right? So that force, would it be positive 40 kilonewtons or negative 40? Uh, it would be in tension, that would be positive 40 kilonewtons. So I'm gonna put in positive 40 right there. What about this force P inside this section? Well, let me cut it. Oops, sorry. All right, so I've got 40 kilonewtons there, but then I've got 50 and 50 right here. So summing the forces, in the x direction equals zero. Uh, do you see that I would need 60 right there? I'm gonna plug in negative 60 kilonewtons right there for that P because it's 60 kilonewtons in compression. Now I'm probably not gonna do kilonewtons, I'm, I prefer newtons. All right, so now the PL over EA, let me do some more room right here. All right, negative 60. I'm gonna do 60,000 newtons, the length of that section, 600 millimeters, over the E, 200. Uh, I'd change it to 200,000 so that I could do MPA, and the area pi by 4, 20 squared. All right, so y'all smarter than me, you know, maybe you just left kilonewtons and GPA. Uh, those, those would be fine. Uh, but I prefer newtons, MPA, and millimeters squared. All right, the next one, 40,000 newtons. Its length is 400 millimeters over E, 200,000 MPA, and pi by 4, 20 squared. And so there, that will give me my delta L. The units... Newton, MPA, and millimeter squared cancel out. So, so yeah, my, my units for both of those terms are millimeters. So I could add them up. You probably could see that I could, I could have factored the, that out and only multiplied the E and the A once, right? I could have said one over EA PL plus PL right? Things that are constant for every term you could cancel out. But it's, it's a little bit more math, punching things into your calculator. But I just fall back to PL over EA of that section, PL over EA of that section. So there we go. Those, those are just numbers. Delta L negative 0.318 millimeters. All right, negative 0.318 millimeters. All right, so apparently that, that section over here, and, and that's 100 kilonewtons, that section right there was really getting compressed 
but this section was getting stretched. But if I add them up together overall, 